All right. Okay. Good luck. Sounds good. You too. <laughs> well, if you have questions, let me know. <laughs> All right. Welcome back, guys. Back out in the surf today. Taking a break from the kayak to go try and chase some surf perch out here in the surf. And today we're going to be throwing my favorite lure to catch these fish. And that's this Lucky Craft Flash Minnow. Um, I'll talk more about it later. But first off, I want to thank Lucky Craft for sponsoring today's video. They've been sponsoring a few videos on the channel and I'm very uh, appreciative of their support of the channel. And if, you have, if you've been following along, last time I tried to come out here and try to do this video where I tried to catch some surfers on Lucky Craft, I got slammed by a big striper. So we'll see what happens today. I'm targeting surf perch and I think that's probably more likely. But when we're out in the surf and out here in California, we never really know what's going to hit. Could be a striper, could be a perch, could be something else. You never know. But uh, yeah, we're going to go see what we can find here. I'm out here with issue with fish this morning. Jack's a little loose. We've got this nice bed of sand crabs right here. I don't know if you can see them, but they're all kind of getting pushed around by the waves. So ideally, there should be some fish right behind them in this kind of calm water. Right here. And if there is, and if they're big enough, I'm hoping they'll hit this lucky craft. Here's a little tip for when you're casting this lucky craft. So it's not a super heavy lure, so you're not going to get it out at super far. So you need to really make the most of your cast. So when I'm casting it, I always want to try and cast it right on the other side of an incoming set or an incoming wave. So if you cast it right in front of the wave, that wave is going to crash on it and then you're going to basically lose out on some of that cast. So there's a wave coming in right here. I'm trying to fling it right on the other side of it. You probably can't see it, but it did. And now I'm bringing that lure in right, I'm basically chasing the wave in and I feel like not only is that beneficial for my casting distance so the lure's not going to get pushed in by a wave, but also I feel like the fish are going to be feeding right behind that wave. I don't think they're going to be feeding right in all that turbulent water in front of the wave. Um, they're going to be also chasing those waves in to find little bait fish and stuff. So anyways, that's kind of my my thought process when casting this lure. Try to get it right on the other side of an incoming stair. Try this hole over here. There we go, there's a fish. There is a fish. Feels like a perch. Feels like a perch. Don't think it's a huge one, but first fish of the day, we will always take it. Well, that's not a bad one. That's actually a good one. Boom. All right, first fish of the morning. Got a little sand on it there, but that's our first fish. That right there is a barred surf perch. Took the lucky craft. Got him with two hooks there. Boom. Get him unhooked here. This guy was not gonna come off. Yeah, got those hooks pretty good. So, just a little wipe off. That's a barred surf perch. So in California, we have two different kinds of surf perch. Well, actually there's a lot of different kinds of surf perch, but the two main ones, um, at least on sandy beaches like this one, our barred surf perch and red tail surf perch. And that's a, a nice barred surf perch. That's a male. You can tell the males from the females because the males have this kind of weird looking fin on the bottom. You see that fin right there? The, the females will have a uniform fin all the way down here. All the way down this is the anal fin. But the males have this weird looking thing and then also their dorsal fin on top is a little bit bigger on the males. But yeah, if you want to keep fish, males and females, both totally legal to keep. And this is a nice one, probably about 12, 12 or 13 inches, I'd say. We'll go ahead and put them in the bag and see if there's any more out there. So we started off fishing a little bit farther to the south here, to my left. And um, found a nice little hole, but that wasn't really producing. So then we came back over here. 
This is a deep hole. This is like a big hole right here. Probably about the length of maybe a football field. Uh, maybe a little smaller, like at least half a football field. Um, and just a big deep hole that kind of tapers off to the left and the right. But I'm fishing literally right right down the center of it. And like I always say in the surf, it pays to, it pays to keep moving. So uh, yeah, we just kind of kept working this hole in and out, up and down. Oh, I think I might have just got hit. I think I just had a bite. Um, yeah, just working the hole all the way from left to right. And that one just happened to be right dead central. So we'll keep casting here for a little bit. See if that was a fluke or see if there's any more fish in there. cast right in there three two one nope oh yeah oh it came off no i had him oh i predicted that too i knew that was a good cast dang it just a hit and run i was just a little off on the timing off by like a second or two See if we can get him again. Right in there. No, I'm not feeling it this cast. Not feeling it on this one. Oh, dang it, I missed him. That was a bite for sure. 100% that was a fish. Oh man. Tough fishing out there, but I just wanted to thank again Lucky Craft for sponsoring today's video. This is definitely the best, my favorite way to catch fish out in the surf. Something about it is just when you throw it out there, you know you're going to hook a good fish if you do get one. And when it hits it, there's nothing else like it. It's, it's totally different from catching it on a, a sand crab or a Carolina rig, anything like that. So anyways, if you want to get one of these for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description. But this is the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow 110. And this is the metallic sardine color. This is probably my favorite color for a targeting surf perch. And then I also have one more update. So I mentioned in my last video, this is an awesome lure, but these hooks, if you're gonna target bigger fish, you're gonna need to swap them out because if you've watched my channel, big fish will just absolutely destroy this thing. So it's in best interest, especially if you're targeting striped bass out here on the West Coast, make sure you get, up, get these hooks swapped out. This is the lure, the exact lure that I used in this video. It's got everything stock. And like I said before, if you're targeting surf perch, it's probably fine to keep these stock hooks and split rings in there. But if you wanna target anything bigger, you're gonna to need to upgrade that hardware. So this is version 2.0. This is the new one that I'm testing now. And I believe this is gonna be the end goal right here. I think this is gonna work just fine for us. So these are the hooks that I've tied on here. These are Gamakatsu treble 2x magic eye size 6 i'll leave a link in the description for that and this is what i've been using i've caught a couple of fish on this which i believe is coming to you in a future video um, but they haven't straightened out yet i haven't put any monster fish in it so i'm not guaranteeing it but i think these hooks look pretty good they're pretty similar in size to the stock hooks but as you can tell they're a little bit thicker and then i put a little bit thicker split rings on there as well and then um, as plan C 3.0, if this one doesn't pan out, then I've gone to these hooks right here. And so these are fairly expensive. Well, actually both of these are fairly expensive hooks, but in my opinion, I think it's worth it. If you're gonna spend the kind of money to get a lure like this, you might as well spend a little, couple extra bucks to make sure the hooks are you know, up to, up to par. So anyways, these are the plan C. These are VMC 4X. I actually got these hooks off of a recommendation from my SoCal brother, Hook to Cook. So thanks Edward for that one. I actually haven't used these yet, but I'm like these, I'm probably like 98% sure these are gonna be good. But on the off chance that those are, I'm like 100% sure these aren't gonna bend with any kind of fish that we have here on the West Coast. So anyways, that's an update. I'll keep you updated. Once striped bass season comes, I'm gonna be hopefully hooking up some more bigger models with these lures right here and I'll put these hooks to the test. So if you guys have any experience using this Lucky Craft Flash Minnow and you have some other hooks that you think might be better than what I have here, 
Feel free to leave a comment below. I'm happy to try out any other kinds of style, shapes, or sizes um, that you think might be applicable to the West Coast here. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'll leave links to all the gear down in the description. Thank you Lucky Craft for sponsoring today's video. Next month, I'm gonna be doing another Lucky Craft video and it's not gonna be Perch or Striper. I won't tell you what it is yet, but I'll just leave that as a surprise for now. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.